Okay, hello fellow traders. So we hope you're having a good trading week thus far. Okay, um, had a fantastic Monday. Actually, we didn't expect uh, Monday to go so well. Okay, so uh, if you're in our free channel, you would probably really know that uh, we bought into uh, pound cap. So this was the trade that was sent out over here. Okay, so today's video, we just want to talk about uh, how we took this trade as well as uh, the concept of a fixed support level that we've seen happen time and time and time again. So first and foremost, we want to talk about uh, our trade over here. Okay, uh, so over here you can see uh, this was a trade sent out. Market buy pound cap 1.6075, stop loss 1.6025. Okay, that's a 50 pip stop loss. Okay, and a take profit uh, at 1.6180, about 105 pips. So the actual trade was exited at uh, 1.6175, 100 pips. So basically, it gave a very good risk reward of uh, 1 is to 2. Okay, very good trade. So we just want to explain to you uh, why we decided to take this trade first. Uh, and then next, we'll explain to you the concept of a fake support level. Okay? So as you can see over here, we plotted the levels. Uh, just let me just fine tune this first. Okay, so this is the stop loss. Okay, this is the entry. Okay, and uh, of course, this is the this is the original uh, take profit. Okay, of course, uh, we exited at uh, one point six one seven five, but uh, I'll just plot it over here. Okay, so when we saw the trade, it was actually somewhere here, right? It went down first. Okay, uh, we were actually prepared because we know that this zone was the support zone over here. Okay, just a moment, uh. Let me see. Okay. So uh, we know that this is the support zone here. Okay. So the question that we ask ourselves first is uh, what trend are we on? Okay. So you can see over here that, uh, let me just delete this, that this is a high. Okay. This is a low. Okay. If you count this, which uh, some people do, I mean, personally we do, this is a higher high and higher low. Okay, and again, the same thing. Okay, higher high, higher low. Okay, here's where it gets a bit tricky and it requires experience. You see over here that there's actually a higher high. Okay, but this time there's a lower low. You see, because this low over here exits this low over here. Okay, so in a sense, this looks a bit like an inverted head and, sh uh, sorry, a head and shoulders pattern forming, right? With the neckline being something like this. Okay, but uh, as you already probably know, uh, a reversal only happens when uh, the neckline breaks. So you, you cannot say that there's a full reversal, but um, if you are buying, you have to be more cautious. Okay, so let me just clear this before I carry on explaining uh, what we see. Okay, so, so why did we take the trade over here? Okay, look, look at this left here, right? What a lot of people do like to do is they like to put their stop loss just below this level. So they put it over here. Okay. So in a sense, this is kind of like a fixed support level because the market always goes to where uh, the stops are. I mean, if you've been trading sometime, you realize that the market is all about stop hunting, right? Because for you to make money, somewhere else must lose money. So what happens is that the market will always go where uh, the stop loss are. So a lot of people put a stop loss here. Okay, hopefully you're not one of them. So a lot of people put their stop loss over here. Let me just draw it down here. Correct. But over here there is support. Okay, if you you can't see support clearly, as we always say, switch the line chart, and uh, you should be able to see it clearly. So you can see that okay, uh, this level here is a very good level. It's a very good support because it's a, it's a, it's, it's kind of like a valley here. One touch lines up with this, and it's kind of here. So, okay, switch back to the uh, candlestick chart. So you can see that this zone here is probably a very good level. Okay, and this constitutes as a fixed support. So what a lot, of, what a, how a lot of traders what they do wrongly is that um they they don't see they see this as support, so they put their stop loss here. And then, you know, when market just pretends to break support, oh, you know, they happily short. They say, oh, support is broken out. I'll, I'll, I'll trade a breakout. So they lose money both ways. They lose money buying and they lose money selling. Okay. 
But now, it, now that you understand that, oh, this is actually a fake support, okay? Fake support level, okay? You, you, and the real support is actually this zone over here below. You want this whole entire zone to be broken, okay? If you are trading, you want this entire zone to be broken first before you take any trade. You want something like um, this. Okay, let's say now, um, now let's say we're looking for opportunity to short. You want the zone to be broken first, okay? Broken cleanly, then you short on the retracement up, okay? Yep, then you probably short something like that. Uh, this is probably what we are looking at next, okay? So just to reiterate, the concept of a fake support level is that um, this level, Right, this is the upper upper end of a support zone, right? And this is the bottom end. So always see support and resist, resistance zone as a zone. Don't see it as a level. Because when you see it as a level and you just take this trade here, that's going to cost you money. Okay? So maybe I just end off by saying that uh, now this, this pair is looking like a left shoulder, right? Hit. And a... Uh, right shoulder okay given that this week is uh you know fomc we don't expect this to uh we don't really expect this to break out okay what we expect rather is just now what we drawn it will probably be down okay so actually the other thing that we can consider is consider taking a shot over here okay um if we see your opportunity we'll send you okay uh, as a free subscriber our next trip will be a free signal so stay tuned Okay, so um, we'll see you in our channel. Yeah, so trade safe because this is going to be a tough one. Okay, see you in the next video.